you guys asked and we are here to deliver. We are gonna teach you not only how to prep vegan meals for dinner time, but we're gonna share three epic recipes with you. So dinner time is usually the most difficult when it comes to coming up with delicious and nutritious meals, especially when you're transitioning to plant-based. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, we're all exhausted and the last thing we wanna do is figure out what to make. It can be a lot more challenging than simply blending a smoothie for breakfast or chopping a salad for lunch. So we're gonna share our formula for success with you guys and dive into an Indian-inspired dish, Mexican, and an Asian dish. So we're going around the world today in minutes. Before we jump into the meal prep formula, you'll wanna make sure that you've watched our recent plant-based pyramid video. It'll kind of lay out the hierarchy of each different food group and give you ideas for how to incorporate an abundance of variety into your meals. So it might be helpful to grab out a pen and paper or your phone and kind of write out everything to get it on paper to help you organize your recipes and your meal prep for the week. To build a perfect plate or a perfect meal for your prep, you will want to include a grain, a legume, a veggie, a healthy fat source, and a spice, or maybe a handful of spices. Next is the prep. This is the hard work, but in our case, it was very, very easy, and it took up virtually no time. I think we prepped all of this food that you see here in less than like 45 minutes. So it comes down to rinsing your grains and cooking them down. We put the rice in this big pot. We put our lentils in a small frying pan. We put our beans actually in our pressure cooker and we put our potatoes into our air fryer. So our first recipe is gonna be this delicious Asian stir fry. For this recipe, our grain is brown rice, our legume, is edamame, our veggies are a mixed stir fry medley, our healthy fat is peanuts and sesame, and our spice or seasoning is just a little bit of liquid aminos. And if you're wondering why we made so much brown rice, it's actually going in all three recipes. So again, food prep hacks. Meal prep number two for the week is a Mexican inspired chipotle burrito bowl. So again, like Dusty said, we are using our brown rice as a base for all three recipes. So our grain is brown rice. From the beans and legumes category, we decided to go with black beans and veggies are going to be air fried sweet potato, sauteed red bell pepper, frozen sweet corn, and then we've got avocado for our fat and our spice is cumin. Recipe number three and possibly one of my favorite meals of all time, even when we go out to dinner, this is a Indian curry. Aloo gobi is probably what you're gonna see on the menu. Seriously, my favorite meal. Our grain for this category is going to be brown rice again. Our beans and legumes are gonna be red lentils, chickpeas, and green peas. Our veggies, we have cooked yellow potatoes and some frozen cauliflower. You can obviously use fresh. We just wanted to save time on this one. Our healthy fat is actually gonna be some coconut cream. The stuff lasts a few days in the fridge. We buy that canned and our spice is curry powder. For our Asian stir fry, we used both frozen edamame and a frozen vegetable medley. A lot of people are concerned, should I use frozen or is fresh better? And a lot of times frozen is more nutritious because vegetables and fruits are picked when ripe, so the nutrients are really locked in. So don't be afraid of frozen. And the same goes for beans. If cooking dry beans is simply too much work for you, to be honest, a lot of times we do opt for cans because it's a lot more convenient. All we recommend is that you search for organic and beef. <laughs> We recommend that you search for organic as well as BPA-free cans. So our last step is to mix all of our ingredients together and cook them down. Then you can either pop them in the refrigerator for the week. You can eat them cold right out of the refrigerator. A lot of times we don't even reheat our leftovers. You can cook them all, pop them in the freezer so you can have them on hand, say, when you get home from a vacation and you just don't wanna cook. Or like when I had Max and I simply was in bed with him 24 seven, I didn't feel like cooking. It was nice to have those freezer meals on hand. Okay, can we vlog in this professional style shoot? We're gonna vlog a little. Look at these bad boys, done. All we have left to do is dish and we don't have to cook for the week, which is amazing. That's the best part. No cooking for days. It's all been done and it's only taken like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. Honestly, all that we wanna do is be outside in the evenings and this has helped us to free up our evenings to be able to do that. 
Totally. We're gonna dish it up and finish it up. Okay, so now we're gonna plate each of our dinners. I'm gonna start with the stir fry because that's kind of what I've been craving lately. So I'm gonna put a whole bunch of rice in this dish. And the nice thing about having no oil in any of these recipes and adding in your healthy fats separately gives you all of the control in the world. So especially if you're trying to lose weight on a plant-based diet, the fact that there is no oil means that these are higher volume meals with lower amounts of calories. They're gonna fill you up without weighing you down. Next, I'm gonna dish up our Indian curry. Dusty said that's the one he's most excited for. Dish up a generous helping of this amazing looking curry. And of course, wouldn't be the Stanzix if we didn't have a handful of taters on the plate. In fact, I'll probably add some to my stir fry too. Finally, I'm just gonna add a dollop of our coconut cream. Last but not least, burrito bowls. So again, we've got our brown rice. I'm gonna add in some black beans. Air fried sweet potatoes. These have been my jam. They are so, so good. Red bell peppers. Add in a little bit of corn here. Slice up some avocado or you can also make guacamole. Well, there you have it, you guys. We've got an Asian, an Indian, and a Mexican dinner for the entire week. Cannot wait to dig in. If you want to bulk up any of these recipes, you could add tofu to your stir fry. You yeah. can add a gluten-free, dairy-free naan bread with your curry. You can also add a corn or flour tortilla to your chipotle style bowl. Let us know in the comments below which dish you guys are most excited to try out, which one looks the tastiest to you. Yes. Leave us some love in the comments as well. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel. Hit that subscribe button and click that bell to turn on notifications. You'll get alerted next time we make a nutritious and delicious video on this channel. As always, follow us on all forms of social media, especially on Instagram where we are active daily. You can follow our workouts, you can see what we eat, you can even keep up with Max, who's playing <laughs> so good throughout this whole video. Until next time, you guys, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.